good morning my dear students so we are already started the first lesson electrostatics one of the topic is coulomb's law and its aspects already we are discussed so today we are discuss this topics the first one historical background of electric charges then next topic is basic property of the charges then third topic is superposition principle then fourth topic is electric field and its aspects okay so now we are going to discuss about the first topic is historical background of electric charges so in the year of that uh, 2 millennium years ago pathina the grecus is noticed thus one of the material is found that ampere so ampere is a solid and a translucent material so the ampere is rubbed with animal fur ampere animal fur in the material oda rub panum bodu it gets charging so the grecus are found so where the ampere is rubbing with the animal fur it gets charged so ampere having this special property but grecus noticed that so the, not only for ampere having this property then another one of the material the glass rod is rubbing with the silk cloth it also gets charged so what is mean by charging why we are introduce the topic is charging na throughout the electrostatic lessons we are using the term charge so that's why here we are using the term charging what is mean by charging so one object is rubbing with another object so the electric charges is transformed from one material to another material due to the friction so here we are using the term friction is otherwise is using the term rubbing consider the one of the material ampere so how to get the charge so consider the one of the charged rubber rod hanging from one of the thread so the charged rubber rod is having this negative charge so here is brought is get another one of the charged rubber rod it gets ripples to each other because both charges are like charges so this is also is a negative charges and uh, brought near the another charges is also negative charges so that's why both are like charges the like charges are ripples to each other and next one consider the another one of the stand and here using one of the hanging with the thread using another one of the glass rod the glass rod gets is positive charge here is brought near the another one of the rubber rod is negative charge so both are unlike charges because uh, glass rod is positive charge and rubber rod is negative charges so both are unlike charges so unlike charges are attract to each other attract to each other so from this consider, uh, from this information we are concluded that charged rubber rod and charged glass rod are both are different from each other then another one of the point like charges because negative and negative are positive or positive or like charges are repulsive to each other then another concept unlike charges positive charge and negative charges are attracted to each other so one of the scientist in the 18th century benjamin franklin is the one of the scientist is conclusion that in the universe there are two charges only so one is the positive charge then another one is negative charge so overall the net charge is always to be zero so another one of the uh, concept jj thompson and Uh, some of the scientists told that so the material is made up of only the atoms the atom is the neutral particle and is also is a made up of we are also told the uh, 
material is made up of atoms atoms having the uh, made up of three elements the one is the protons and the electrons and then neutrons the proton is the positive charge and the electron is the negative charge and the neutron is the neutral charge particle the next one is the very important term is tripoelectric charging this is the very important two mark question what is mean by tripoelectric charging which means the charging the object through the rubbing is called the tripoelectric charging okay so this is the over the topic is historical background of electric charges okay so the next topic is basic property of electric charges so there are three basic property of electric charges is there so the first one is electric charge then second one is conservation of charges and third one is quantization of charges the first one electric charge is represents the first of all the most of the universe is made up of the atoms so we know already the most of the object in the universe is made up of the atoms the atom is made up of three materials so already we told that protons electrons and neutrons okay so these three particles having the mass so having the mass is the particle having this one of the property similarly the electric charges is also interesting and fundamental properties of this particle is called the electric charges the si unit of electric charges is a important one more question si unit of electric charges coulomb so it is represented by the letter is c so the si unit of electric charges is coulomb so most of the universe is made up of atoms atom is made up of three materials one is the protons another one is neutrons another one is electrons proton is the positive charge electron is the negative charge and neutron is the neutral particle these three particles having the mass so ma mass is the one of the property of this material then another one is electric charge so electric charge is the one of the fundamental properties of the this materials then si unit of electric charge is coulomb the next property is conservation of charges the next topic is conservation of charges you know already in 11th standard you started in conservation of charges because already we told that the material that one material is rubbing with the another materials the charge will transferred from one material to another material due to the frictions i have already told so what is mean by conservation of charges na so here we are considered the one of the glass rod the glass rod is rubbing with silk cloth so glass rod is rubbing with the silk cloth uh, charges will be transformed from glass rod to silk cloth the glass rod gets the positive charge and the silk cloth gets the negative charge but what is the confirmation of the conservation of charges means the total electric charge remains constant the charge can neither be created nor be destroyed so the physical process of the net change in the charge will always be zero so this is called as the conservation of electric charges so which means what so ஆற்றலை ஆக்கவோ அழிக்கவோ முடியாது ஆனால் ஒரு வகை ஆற்றலை மற்றொரு வகை ஆற்றலாக மாற்றலாம் திஸ் இஸ் த கான்செப்ட் ஆஃப் கன்சர்வேஷன் ஆஃப் எலக்ட்ரிக் சார்ஜஸ் ஸோ அதை தான் நம்ம என்னன்னு சொல்லணும்னா த டோட்டல் எலக்ட்ரிக் சார்ஜ் இன் த யூனிவர்ஸ் ரிமைன்ஸ் கான்ஸ்டன்ட் த சார்ஜ் கேன் நெய்தர் பி கிரியேட்டட் நார் பி டெஸ்ட்ராய்ட் இன் த ஃபிசிக்கல் ப்ராசஸ் த நெட் சார்ஜ் இஸ் ஆல்வேஸ் பி ஜீரோ ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் த கான்செப்ட் ஆஃப் கன்சர்வேஷன் ஆஃப் எலக்ட்ரிக் சார்ஜஸ் the next third property is quantization of charges so what is mean by quantization of charges we are using the smallest materials which means e where e is denotes the fundamental unit of electric charge so it is a one of the two mark question define quantization of charge 
so the charge q in an any object is equal to integral multiples of the fundamental unit of charge e which means q is equal to n e this equation is represents the quantization of charge here q is represents the what quantization of charge here n is represents the integer so integer means 0 plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2 and plus or minus 3 and so on next e is denotes the electric charge other the fundamental unit of charge so here the value of e is so one of the scientists robert millikan already find out this experiment wise so e is equal to 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 coulomb so the general value of electric charges e is equal to 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 coulomb in case of proton is the positive charge the plus e which is equal to plus 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 coulomb then in case of electron electron is a negative charge so minus e is equal to minus 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 coulomb so the quantization of charge only we are using the microscopic level only so not macroscopic level so these are the three properties of electric charges the first one is electric charge then second one is conservation of charge and third one is quantization of charge